here with national freestyle coach Bill Zadek. The first day the men's freestyle team is here in Tokyo. Um, Bill, you just got through a training camp in Nagatsugawa for a couple of weeks, getting our team ready. How did things go for the group up there in that training site? We had a really good camp in Nagatsugawa. Our hosts there, uh, Mr. Maruyama, uh, the Hana Serasa Hotel, and, and all the people were just really hospitable and, and you, you hear that the Japanese culture is very hospitable and uh, a lot of respect permeates our culture, but man, they, they just couldn't have done any more to make it a great environment for us. We were very isolated, had a great hotel, uh, great facilities that we were training with, and it just allowed our athletes uh, to focus and, and take care of business that we needed to take care of. And, and they all looked really sharp, and I think we got a lot out of the training camp. And, and uh, yeah, we're excited to be in Tokyo and take the next step. Now, you've got a couple of days before you guys step on the mat, but obviously ETI's got their own individual plan right now, right? Working with you as a national coach and their personal coaches and taking advantage of all the different resources. Is it a kind of time where you, you're able to see little things that you can work on or is it just let's get through to the you, way in? You know, at, at this point we've kind of done all the minor adjustments and, and the refinements and that's really what the last couple of weeks and months were about and, and now it is just, it's just really sharpening. It's, you know, keep your body feeling great, keep your mind feeling great, uh, you know, do whatever you need to do to adjust your weight and, and get to the scale right now. And, you know, but there is, there is some time, right? We have four days before uh, the first day of our competition, and so um, guys will still be doing some work, and, and uh, but mainly just preparing their their mind and body to perform together at their best, and and, uh, and and be ready when they're when each of their days come to step on the mat. Hey, you've got to be excited about the group of five athletes that we have wrestling in freestyle, uh, a mix of not just experience but also some really young talent. Uh, talk about this group overall, what kind of capabilities they have, and. And just as a coach, what impresses you about the, the men you're going to be sending into battle? Yeah, um, yeah, all of them, great athletes, uh, great competitors. They've all been very successful. Uh, four of the five have senior medals in this quad. Uh, the fifth is a three-time age group world champion. So they're just highly accomplished. And, and you know, e even Gable is, is the, you know, the new kid on the scene. Um, he's still a veteran, right? He's won NCAA titles. He's won three age group world titles. All of them have done some amazing things. Um, and uh, they just look really sharp. You know, I think, uh, you know, I say this a lot, and, and it's a pleasure to say so, is, is they're, they're really good wrestlers, and they're better people than they are wrestlers. And, and I think that character, their personalities uh, keeps them grounded. And, and I think it makes them more stable performers. And, you know, they, they really, um, they bond. There's a lot of camaraderie. Uh, they, they enjoy each other. They enjoy seeing each other get better. They help each other. And, and there just is a lot of knowledge and experience. And, and they just seem to thrive and rise. Um, each of them helps the others rise and the, and the group raises the individual. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been a, been a lot of fun to work with. They're a great group, but we still got to perform. You know, I don't want to um, get too far away from it. it it's serious competition, and, and but I think they're going to be ready to go, and I think we're going to see some exciting wrestling. The one thing that's similar to Rio is that <laughs> Kyle Snyder's at the end again, right? Yeah. I mean, he he won the gold medal. He was the last match at the Olympics yeah. uh, down in Rio, and he's in the last day of wrestling here. Mm -hmm. and obviously. You know, he's a proven performer, but he's got some things he wants to turn back around from the last season or so, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, you know, Kyle's, you know, he's a legend already, right? Three-time gold medalist, five-time medalist. He's, he's a, just a consummate professional. Um, he's a very unique individual, and, and he's, he's wrestling at a, at a very high level right now. He's, you know, I think, my opinion, I think he's wrestling as, as good as I've ever seen him wrestle, so... Um, it's a deep field. There's a lot of strong contenders, you know, of course, with Sajalayev, but others there, right? It, it might be one of the most, uh, well, it's hard to say that because they're all really good weights, right? But you think about the top five or six guys in that weight class, 
you know, with uh, Sajalayev and Odakadze from Georgia and Sarita from Ro representing Romania now, and, and a handful of others, the, the Iranian Mohammedian that's in there now. Um, there's a lot of really good guys, um, but Kyle seems to always just uh, step up. You know, he, he, he gets excited when the lights turn on, and, and I think he's, uh, yeah, you know, I'm excited for him and excited for his opportunity. I think he's really excited too. Now you got two world champs who've done so much but haven't been to the Olympics in Taylor and Dake. Uh, you know, these guys, although it's their first Olympics, it's, it's not their first rodeo at the highest level. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, S same can be said, right? They're, they're veterans, you know, they've performed at the, on the highest stages with the, with the most pressure, you know, in, in some of the bouts that they've wrestled, wrestled even, each other even. And, uh, and now they're just as close as friends as you can imagine. Um, they room together the whole training camp. They've, they've been training partners. They've helped each other a lot. And, and uh, yeah, they, they're coming here very determined, very prepared, and, and excited to get out there and, and uh, you know, give it their shot. Now Gilman, obviously, he's been in the World Finals. People seem to underestimate him still. I mean, it, shows, yeah. it seems to me that you put a challenge in front of that kid and he meets it, right? Yeah, yeah he does. And, and, you know, Thomas was on the very first Cadet World Team that I coached in 2011. And I was very impressed with him back then, just how studious he is. He, he's, he knew, you know, as a 15, 16 year old kid, he knew all the best guys in the world, had studied them, he knew their attacks. He, um, and he's, he's, that's, he's continued to be that person his whole career. And, and I think he's just coming into a spot that he's, he's wrestling at a very good level right now and looks really, really strong. Um, you know, just overall, he, of course, he's very strong physically. Um, that's one of his assets, but he's just a tough guy and he's a smart guy and, and he's, he's wrestling really well. So um, yeah, he's gonna be a handful. Now, and Gable Stevenson, the American wrestling fans, they love the kid. They know how good he is. They have a lot of confidence in him. What about the rest of the world? Do they know what they're going to get when they have him in their draw? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I mean, you know, they, I think they have a general idea of what they're going to get. But um, as we saw in the, in the college season and through the trials um, process in our summer, is in the last couple of years, Gable's made some jumps, right? He was, he was a very good wrestler before but he's made some physical jumps and some mental jumps where he's, he's just at a new level now and, and he he's, has been looking really good. And so um, we'll see, you know, he's, he's uh, like I said, three-time age group world champion. He's been very exciting in those, in those major events and, and uh, performed well. And so uh, he's a gamer, he likes the show, right? He, a lot of things he's talking about in his life that are coming at him. And, and, and he likes that kind of uh, excitement and energy, and I think he's gonna bring that to his competition. Well, man, I mean, there's been a lot of hard work, a lot of training, a lot of sacrifice, but we're, we're here in the games, and I mean, you're gonna have a chance to sit back and, and just kinda enjoy this a little bit, or is that only gonna happen after the last match of the last day? Well, it, it's, <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of nerves and anxiety, but um, yeah, I'm excited to watch these guys compete. If they go represent themselves and, and just go wrestle as they have in training, then, then we're all going to be really excited and really happy, and it's going to be fun to watch. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time, Coach. Look forward to seeing you and the men out on the mats soon. Thanks a lot, Gary. Appreciate it. Be well.